Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and you've come to Gratefully Blessed in my mess. And I, I thought it was going to be weird if I didn't mention Samson in this video. Um, for those of you who do not know, um, Samson has passed away and he passed away on Thursday, the um, 24th, I believe. I don't know what today is. Um, but uh, it's been very, very hard on our whole family. And I'm going to really try to get through this video. Um, without shutting it off and crying. So, um, but he, he will be back home with us next week. Um, my son and I took him in to get cremated so we could have his, um, ashes and keep him home with us. Um, but he declined very fast, very, very quickly. Um, and I actually called the vet last week, but they were unable to even get him in for two days. So, and I, I told them, I don't think he's going to make it two more days. I just didn't know if I should put him down because I didn't want him suffering. I didn't know if he was suffering. He didn't appear to be suffering, but I don't know if it was my own selfish. My own selfishness that I wasn't wanting to let him go, which I think that's what it was. I think I just didn't want to let him go and I don't know um you know this anyway so any anyway I'm sorry this is what I did not want to do um he is greatly missed and will never ever be replaced ever um he was one of a kind just like you know many of your dogs that have passed away and thank you so much for all of your well wishes and your love that you all had for Samson because you guys had a lot of love for him and and he knew that you know he that's why he always came into the videos and I would tell him and he would know he was so smart but um I did take him for his last walk which I didn't think was going to be his last walk, but I'm glad I did. And, um, I was getting, told my son, I'm going for a walk. And he heard that and he perked right up and, um, he got right up and went to his collar and his leash. So I thought, well, I'm going to take him. If he wants to go, I'm going to take him. So we didn't go as far as I wanted to go. Um, because I just, he just was having a kind of a hard time breathing. And, um, so I took a little bit of a video just to show you guys. Um, and I will insert that here. You want to sit right here? Yeah. Oh, Everything's getting so big on you, buddy. Wait. Oh. You want to rest? Hmm? You want to rest? Okay. So he has lost weight, as you've seen in that video. But um, I believe that Sammy is super happy. I know that he's happy. Um, 
I know that he loved being with us and this was we gave him an amazing life amazing love so I that's where I find peace is knowing how happy he was and that he loved us so much but um yeah we took him in to get cremated um I found him in the garage where that's where he has been staying because the floor is nice and cool and he wanted to be cool he has his dog bed in there um and plus my son is out in the garage all the time so and Sammy doesn't have to go up the stairs to come into the house so he stayed out there for the last um three days I think but um so I did find him uh when I got up at five o'clock in the morning on Thursday and that day is a horrible day and I don't want to talk about that because then I will be bawling and crying even more. So just know that um, it was very, very hard on not only myself, but my son, um, he lost his best friend. And that is extremely hard. It's extremely hard as a mom to watch your kid, even though he's 21, he's still my baby, to watch him suffer like that, to watch him be so heartbroken and crying and laying on him. That is hard. But he, Sammy is running around right now. I, I know he is. <laughs> if you've seen the video that I posted, he loved the water. Run back and forth. He loved going for walks. He loved life. <laughs> so. I'm going to stop talking about this. Just know that he is happy. <laughs> happy. Even though we're sad. Very sad. But, and I just thank you guys all, all of you guys. Thank you so much for the well wishes. For Sammy loved you guys. You guys loved him. And that makes me happy. That makes me happy. We still have my Berta Bean. Um, I don't know. She's either 12 or 14. I don't, I don't know. I got to look. But um, she's deaf. She can't. She can't hear when somebody knocks at the door. Samson was my alarm. Um, I mean, she can't hear a, a darn thing. But we, um, she went up to Samson. Uh, we we allowed her to go, you know, wanted her to go up to Samson and smell him. Um, my mom had told me that um, that is a good thing for the other animals to do so they know. They're not wondering what happened to, to the other one. So, and she seems fine. I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe she... Maybe she can't see. I mean, no, her eyes are kind of glazy, so I don't know if she was just, uh, she's old, <laughs> but she's still loved too. But um, Samson was one of a kind, that's for sure. But, all right, so to get on with, with the video, so again, thank you guys so much for, for reaching out um, in your comments. I... I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so, so very much. All right, the bag that I got here is this cute little bag. Um, let me see if I can, I don't remember the name of it. I will, well, it'll be linked in the description box, but um, 
backward. Westbrook. I think that's the name of it is the Westbrook. It does have the Westbrook Lembo emblem right there. Um, I just did my nails and they are super long. I swore I was never going to do the long nails again, but um, I had them and I just felt like doing nails. <laughs> so I did them. Um, this is an adjustable. I got this off of Amazon and I will link this in the um, in the comment section because for some reason I'm not able to link in the description. I don't know why it's been like this for a while now, but it does have a nice zipper, whoops, a nice zipper on the back. And then in the inside, it just looks like this. And it does have the, um, let me zip it up for you so you can see. Now I'm going to be all snotty. <laughs> it does have the zipper up top here. This is the puffer, um, the puffer one. They're all over on TikTok, but I noticed if you, um, they're much more expensive on TikTok than they are Amazon. I think they, these were like $15 on Amazon and they're going for $26 on TikTok. So I'm going to choose Amazon. But I don't really have a whole lot in here. Um, it has the two zippers or the two pouches here. And I just have my Touchland sanitizer here. And then it does have the, um, right there, the West Brook, West Bronco, West Bronco, West Bronco logo there with the back wall zip here. And then... Um, the inside, I just have my glasses. I've been needing those more and more, you guys. And, ugh, not liking it. And the last thing that I have in here is the West Bronco um, ID wallet. It's got the ID here. It's got the zip. So here, get your IDs in there or whatever. Um, this here is, I use it as a change right there comes with a wristlet and I just hooked my keys on here I got this um I got another name tag here <laughs> Andrea got this at Cabela's the same place as I got this one um and then the inside it does um this is my phone case this is for an iPhone Pro Max and just so you know it does fit it it does fit my phone case in here so it will hold your phone which is nice because everything is like right you know if you know me you, you know that I'm all about hooking my keys to my wallets and having everything in one spot <laughs> um, so I do have this is what I have in here it has a spot for your chapsticks or lip glosses or whatever um, I said and I just put some <laughs> nail glue in there and a lip balm and my lotion. And then here I just have my cards back here. And yeah, so this is my wallet that I am going to be using. And it just fits nicely in here. And then I do have my, um, my earbuds just hooked to this strap here. And then the strap or the I use it as a crossbody. I will show you here. So this is what it looks like here. It's super cute. This is the small one. And I know that they have a, um, they have a large, wait a second. What's going on? Oh, that's why. <laughs> so they have a, a medium and a large size. But I have gotten some totes and I'm just going to pop this in my tote because I am more of a smaller, I guess, I want the big totes, but I also don't want to carry the big totes in a store either. So I could do it, carry it this way, which is nice and, um, and this is really light and machine washable too. Did I tell you that I, did I tell you that I had a zip pocket on the back? I did, I think. And then 
I got this puffer, this puffer bag here, which is super great. You could hook, um, it didn't come with a strap, but you could hook a strap to it. And then the inside here, um, this is, I just have it kind of as like my little, um, like this has my like girly stuff in, you know, um, because although I am old, <laughs> I'm still not done with my periods. So those are in here. And then I just have some Aquaphor. And then this here, this is such a cool little thing. Um, this is going to be in my bags too at all times. Um, this is by, it's, I don't, it says keep going. I will link this in the description or in the comment section too. I got this off of Amazon, but it is, um, it's the keep going go kit. It's the first aid. So they have like all of your first aid stuff, the zipper pouch with your stuff here, and then band-aids, which is the same kind as your little outside. And then some more stuff, and then some more. They do have stickers in here for little kids, which I don't have any little kids, but um, not saying that I'm not gonna need it because if any little kid need, you know, has a boo-boo, I'm gonna give those kids a sticker. <laughs> um, so that way I just have it with me and um, yeah. I do have my other my other meds. Oh, and it does have another thing that it has here is where is it? So it has this here, the first aid um, go kit. So it has all of these things that you could do. Like so it has not you could do, but for what's in this kit. So it has like stuff on choking, um, poison, animal bites unconsciousness, brains, CPR, like how you do it, what you need, large wounds. So like if they say, um, I can't read it right now, but so if you have a cut, it tells you probably to grab a, some, maybe one of these or these, and then a Band-Aid. I'm not sure because <laughs> I didn't really read it, but that's what I'm assuming it's Okay. Yeah, they, I mean, really, they have all kinds of stuff in here. So that's kind of cool. All right. Um, oh, wow. And they also have this in here, too. How to remove a tick. That's interesting. All right. So that is this on the go med kit. And I'm just going to put that right in here along with my girly thing and then I will put this in there and then it just zips up so this will go in the um, tote bag as well but this is super cute you could use this as a crossbody purse too just put a strap on it and then look at how cute that would look as a as a crossbody or, you know like this so this is super cute again am yeah I think I got this on Amazon yeah I did so I will link um, I will link this and my purse in the um, gosh, the first aid kit in in the comment section okay but this the wallet the West Bronco wallet um, I got this off the TikTok shop and only because it was cheaper on TikTok than it was on Amazon. So yeah, I'm, I'm that person that kind of goes to each site to see which, where I could get the cheaper one at. So, all right, you guys, um, I will come back in another video and cause I do have more videos I want to do, but I will come back when, um, when I bring Sammy home. So until next time, I will see you in my next video and you guys take care.